Hi everyone, it's me here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be using the lovely um, Luscious Prints from um, Denise Lush to make a magazine collage. So I'm starting off in my Use It Up journal, which is the little A5 um, Dina, not Dina journal, Dilutions journal. And I am starting out with cutting out some of the border pieces from the um, Luscious Prints, so I'm having to think of the, the name of the prints, um, from Denise Lush. And I'll put the link to that in the description box below. So there, these magazine collage images that she's had for, um, are just released. She's had them out for a little while. These I did a few months ago. Um, but they're just amazing. Um, I, when I have printables of any sort, I like to print them out onto sticker paper. That's just my personal preference. I just go to my local news agency and whatever A4 sticker paper they've got, I do it. And it just means it's really, really quick and easy for me to chuck stuff into my journals. So quite often if I go traveling, my printables are what I take with me because they're already stuck on sticker paper and then I can just cut them out, um, sort of sitting in front of the TV in a holiday house and um, create to my heart's content. So what I've done is this was just a little bit small for my journal so I just cut it in half and extended it slightly with a little bit of washi. I'm just going in with a black pen just to outline everything again. Now I do this anyway um, no matter how my print is but um, my prints on my laser printer were a little bit iffy. Um, it lost some of the beautiful and vibrancy of the colour that Denise had in the prints. So um, I've chosen to add some extra paint pen and I really like doing that anyway because it just adds a lot of different fun elements to it. So these are what the prints look like when you print them out. I am going in and using this lovely face and I've got a sneaking suspicion that might actually be Denise's eyes behind those glasses that she's used in her prints. Um, and I'm just going together to make my little figure. So I've got this, um, the body part, uh, the little arch part. I've used an upside down sort of toadstool hat. Got the face there, obviously. And one of my favorite things in these um, printouts are some Brussels sprouts. Now I know lots of people have a love or hate relationship with Brussels sprouts. I adore them. I think they're the best thing out. Um, I just love eating them, so I apologies for anyone who thinks I'm strange, but you know, they're my favourites, and um, I decided I wanted to really use them, so I made them into a skirt, and that's what I love about magazine collage, because you can really think outside the box and um, use things that you wouldn't expect to use as clothes or heads or bodies or whatever to create them. So you can see how useful having sticker paper is, because I can sort of just stick things together and they sort of hold their shape as I'm going along. So once I've finished making my image, again I'm going in with my paint pen just to outline it and to make it really stand out. One of the reasons for that is obviously as I said before my printer, but most times when you print stuff out you'll never have a true black on your page. Um, it'll always have a slightly matte quality. So it's never going to be quite as dark as it looks on screen and I find going over the top of it with a black paint pen just helps everything pop out again. The other reason I love using um, the paint pens to outline everything again is it almost gives it a cartoonish quality. It um, converts these, well I know they're 2D images but they look 3D, um, into a very sort of 2D-ish image um, and gives them that sort of animated quality which I love. So once I've finished I've got that strange little birdie there that's got human lips on it I think um, and I thought I'd put him on, put a cool little hat on it as well. I'm also going in and using some of the colours in the background. So obviously there's a bit of yellow on that page so I'm using that to go around the glasses. I've got the pink so I'm just brightening up the pink um, and just adding in little bits of um, colour and so on into the page. I'm also adding in a little bit of extra um, doodling onto the mountains. The reason for that is I had a few little gappy bits um, where the print had sort of come off. And because I had a pink pen in my hand and a green pen in my hand, I just kept adding stuff to my page. So it's a really fun process to pop something on, you know, in the background listening to something and then just play around with what you've got. 
So once I finished, I wanted to put a quote on my page. And again, quite often when I do magazine collage, um, quotes are what I like to write and I'm usually snarky, um, but not all the time. Now, the white pen that I'm using here looks a little bit translucent and there's a reason for that. In the background, that blue that you see is actually oxide spray. It's um, the prize prize ribbon oxide spray. Um, oxide sprays have a uh, dye-based component to them, which obviously is water activated. So obviously you got wet acrylic paint going over the top. The dye was getting activated and sort of seeping up into my white pen, which is why it wasn't quite as white as I wanted it to be. But I persisted and put my base of the white down because that then allowed me to go over the top with another colour. And because I'd sort of sealed that area with acrylic paint, it allowed me to put another colour over the top and get a more true colour. So I'm getting a nice bright yellow because I had that white underneath, um, if that makes sense. So I don't usually do, you know, I know I do a few layers with my... Um, writing when I do quotes but I don't usually do this many um, but there was a reason why I did it so I'm going in um, with my pen saying open your eyes to the beauty around you um, I really like this quote because I thought it particularly applied to the uh, the Brussels sprouts you know some people don't see the beauty in them um, be interested to see in the comments how you feel about Brussels sprouts but um, there you go so I don't know about any other 80s 90s children but I had a fascination with bubble skirts I tried to convert all my skirts into bubble skirts I thought they were the coolest things out um, looking back at the pictures of me wearing them they weren't but um, here I am trying to trying to make it come back again so to further pop my writing out from the background again because that blue is quite intense I'm going around the entire letter with my um, black paint pen and again, those people who follow my channel for a little while know that usually I do sort of a bit of a drop shadow on one side. I don't tend to outline all of it, but in this case, it really helps seal that sort of yellow in and make it look a little bit brighter on the page. So there's quite a few ways it can get around imperfect writing on your page, I suppose, as the case may be. Now I'm going in, because you know, why not, with a pink pen and making my letters into sort of my key letters so just putting little polka dots on all the letters to make them sort of look like my key letters um, and it's fun to do uh, with particularly with contrasting colors sometimes I just do it on like a focal word just to make it really pop but in this case I wanted to put it on everything and again this is sort of to hide a few um, some of that blue seeping up through so it was just a way to sort of add a little bit of extra in the background. So once I finished that, then I still keep going with it, apparently. It's a lot of letters in, in quotes. <laughs> there we go. Yay! Okay, and now I'm going to go in and put in some journaling. So with journaling on my page, Quite often when I'm doing magazine collage, again, I do this where I draw out wiggly, wavy lines and then just write within them um, to fill up the space. And what I find with that is it's still readable, but because it's written in that way, it kind of ends up looking more like pattern work in the background rather than the words. So I wouldn't write my deepest, darkest secrets like this, but, you know, I don't mind writing something that's, you know not necessarily state secret but you know something personal on it because it does kind of look like just pattern work in the background if someone had my journal they could pick it up and read it but in reality how many people really have my journal there to sit down and read it so here's a close-up of the final page you can see all that color and contrast the lovely blue against the yellow um, and that beautiful green from the hills in the background and the, the Brussels sprouts so please check out Denise's um, collage principles. If you're a fan, fan of Mischief Circus, um, which unfortunately is no longer, or if you used to get printables from there, Denise's are very similar. 
Um, so it's a great sort of filled in the gap in the market and um, she has talked about releasing more. I think she's got six sheets at the moment. She's going to talk about more in the future, which is awesome. So I'll put the link in the description box below. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and I will see you later.